Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So uh, I've started work on um, a junk journal insert for uh, one of my journals coming up. And um, I'll show the, the insert um, on, on another video. Um, we'll work on that together. Uh, but basically I wanted to create a, a belly band for it. And I sort of, I've been playing around with this idea a little bit and I thought I would just get on and, and show it to you because it might spark some ideas uh, for your own projects. Uh, so basically it's like this enchanted um, belly band. So when I showed this to my husband, he kind of said, you know, does it look like a little bit like, um, like a Jack and the Giant Beanstalk type situation going on, which I suppose there is that part to it. Um, but I've also added in these little like sections of Tim Holtz ticket just sort of like almost like steps up the up the stem um, and I kind of saw it as being like in real life you might find things in bushes and overgrowth and, and stuff like that so that was kind of like the initial thinking behind it and then of course I thought well when we come to use it we could have um, like a little fairy and, and then I thought we could have you know a little like sentiment or something um, and for this to be a belly band um, Obviously, having this fairy down the bottom might, um, you know, would take away a little bit from the belly band. Um, but my kind of thinking was, still, if you were to glue the top here and this whole section here, you would still have like a sizable section of belly band. So I kind of am running with that sort of idea. So I thought I would flip the camera on and uh, just show you how I made it and what it's made from, just in case it does spark some ideas. So um, this is just like my, my test. <laughs> so I'll just pop that to one side. Um, so I'll show you, I'm sort of doing this process in stages, but basically I'm trying to make a couple of them um, in case I want any more for future journals. So um, I'll just pop that to one side. So basically uh, from my strip sheet that I showed you uh, in my sort of using up paper scraps type video the other day, uh, or last week, whenever it was, um, I've just cut out a strip from that. So this is some Edith Holden book page. It was just an off cut from, uh, you know, working on projects. And it's just backed onto some uh, sturdy book page. So this is one of those, uh, you know, index pages in the back of a botanical book. Um, so that's all that is. It's just glued on. Uh, I rounded the corners and inked around just in case you see any of this beneath the leaves. But chances are probably you won't see any of this. So I've done mine eight inches high by one and a half inches across um, because my, this is the sort of the base of my um, insert. My insert is eight and a half inches high. So I thought that would be a really nice sort of size. So if we imagine it with the, the leaves on, because the leaves will sort of hang over the edge slightly. I thought that was probably about the right sort of size, sorry, for the project. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I thought, as I say, I thought I would flip the camera on and just show you how I'm making it, because um, it might give you some ideas for your own uh, projects. Okay, so once you've got your strip of page uh, cut down to size, um, we want to get some uh, faux leaves. Now you could use fussy cuts for this um, if you've got something like that, or if you've got uh, skeleton leaves, you could use various different things for this. Um, you don't have to use what I'm using. Now I've got various foliage left over from our wedding and um, the decor that we had there. So um, I've been taking them off of this. So if you've got something like this lying around, um, or you can get them very inexpensively if you do want to you know, try the project out completely, then um, basically the leaves are just glued on to the stem part and it's really easy to just take them off um, they come off super simple, super easy and super quick. So, you know, you just go down your, your vine or whatever, taking those off. What I will say is when you're finished doing that, if you are using the same sort of thing, um, don't throw away the uh, stem or vine part because um, depending on what you use, this could be a really good basis of uh, using this to embellish things with uh, a vine. Um, now, I have an idea for what I'm going to use for mine, so I will save that for a future video. But basically, if you want to use every part of it, don't throw any of it away. And uh, I'm sure there's lots of things we could do to um, use it, use the whole thing. 
not just the leaves. So that's enough waffle, isn't it? Um, so basically I'm just going to come in with, um, I'm using Beacon 3-in-1 glue to glue the leaves onto the back piece. Um, it's like Fabri-Tac, so if you've got, got Fabri-Tac then that would work perfectly fine. And basically it's a really simple process of just going down your belly band piece, gluing on these uh, faux leaves or you know whatever leaves you're, in, you're using. Um, you could also do this with you know flowers or um, I mean really this could work for so many different types of journals. I just thought this would look really fun in um, I'm doing my green my green fairy journal which has got a quite botanical sort of look to it. I thought this would be fun for that and of course with the um, like you know gold and the gold and the uh, beanstalk vibes I thought well it kind of looks like this enchanted vine which is sort of ideal for um, you know for the journal really. So that's what we're doing. So um, with the leaves I'm just putting a little bit of glue just on the bottom part I'm not putting glue across the whole thing um, that's just because of what I'm going to do with the tickets afterwards uh, once we've got all the leaves glued on um, and also I don't like the idea of having the leaves be completely flat um, because at the end of the day oops, sorry at the end of the day I want them to look um, you know uh, not real because we know they are faux leaves but um, I suppose just like in real life leaves will be every which direction and they'll be you know sticking up and everything but um, I'm coming to the ends of my <laughs> beacon so it is sort of starting to not want to come out on me so hopefully we will do fine otherwise I'll just get another glue out um, and as you can see I'm just overlapping the leaves um, I'm just going every which direction uh, to be honest not with too much thought to it um, the only things that I am bearing in mind is um, how much I'm overlapping the leaves by um, because obviously we don't want this to be too wide for your page so I'm overlapping the leaves by max a centimetre on each side is what I would say um, but I'm not measuring it and um, I don't do measuring so you know I'm just going by eye really and I'm also trying to uh, make it so that when you use the belly band um, I suppose from overlapping the leaves it still makes the belly band uh, usable like the leaves I don't think are going to get in the way too much they might get in the way a little bit, but you know this is the <laughs> this is the price we pay sometimes to have um, you know our really fancy fancy journals. Um, now you will need quite a few leaves for for this, um, but as I say, I've got these left over, so I'm just making use of what I've got. Um, as I say, you can get you know embellishments like this quite cheaply. Um, I find this cheaper than if I were to go to a craft store and type in crafting leaves or you know something like that. I feel like as soon as you say it's for crafting, um, similar to saying stuff is for weddings, I just feel like people jack the price up on things. So I just go onto like eBay or um, somewhere like that or even the pound shop sometimes has uh, stuff like this and I just... Um, I just get them from there because yeah as soon as you go to a craft store I just feel like they jack the prices up and it just you know it's not it's not ideal really um, but as I say you could do this with other types of leaves um, I don't think you could do it with real dried leaves um, you know because they would be too dry for like they would just crumble um, but you might be able to do it with leaves like real leaves which um, you're not going to dry out um, or certain types of leaves don't dry out as much as others um, but you would have to do a little bit of research into into that to find you know what what would work best really <clears throat> so with this I am pointing the leaves sort of upwards um, because I'm using ivy leaves and um, Although ivy does grow in every which direction, generally it is a it's a climbing plant. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. I'm also thinking about the fact that it being a beanstalk. Um, in my head, I'm thinking you would climb upwards, but that's just that's just me. <laughs> you do this project if you're going to do it, however you like, and just go with what you want to do, really. And of course, you don't have to cover the entire. Uh, 
page underneath with the leaves uh, if that's not the look you want to go for you could just have a few leaves dotted around and have a pretty belly band underneath um, you know there are lots of ways that you could take this uh, as always you know we each do our own thing don't we and and all the rest of it but I do hope this gives you some ideas of something you could try if if you want to so nearly at the end <laughs> there we go I've got a couple more leaves um, do have some more somewhere else so I think I might need just a couple more so I'll just hit pause whilst I ferret out a couple more leaves and I'll get those stuck on and then we'll be on to the the next part okay so once you've got your um, your leaves all down um, we're gonna add some gold leaf trim so I got this from either eBay or Amazon uh, it wasn't very expensive and I got you know several meters of it uh, just type in gold leaf trim and you should be able to to find what you're looking for and we're gonna have that glued down the middle um, so I don't want to go the whole length of the belly band, I just want it to be slightly smaller. Um, not for any reason other than just how it looks probably. <laughs> so just chopping off what I need, there we go. And I'm going to use, uh, this is the Fast Grab Tacky Glue from Aileen's. Um, I'm going to use that uh, just to glue the leaves, um, just because it's got a nice fine nozzle when it's not clogged. Um, which allows me to come in and get the leaves down without um, getting glue everywhere. Um, that's just me. Uh, art glitter glue I'm sure would be fine for this. So yeah, I'm just gluing the leaves. I'm not worrying about the stem. Um, I will probably stitch my belly bands afterwards uh, just to make sure everything is definitely down. But I don't think that is 100% necessary. I think you could do this project with just a good glue, um, so don't feel like you need a sewing machine, uh, basically. So yeah, just glue in all the leaves. My glue is on strike. <laughs> so I'll just get those down before the glue has a chance to dry, so aim for the middle and just glue that down, oops, without getting glue everywhere. The good stuff about this glue is it dries completely clear, like art glitter glue. So, um, you know, I won't have like a shiny residue or anything, like if I was using the Fabri-Tac and it went everywhere. And this glue does seem to take to these leaves perfectly fine, which I'm, I'm pleased about. So again, just glue in each of these leaves. Uh, don't worry, I'll get the other one done off camera. I just thought whilst I was here, I'm best um, making a couple and uh, you know if we're going to get all our supplies out we might as well, we want, might as well make a couple if we're going to use them. Um, is how I'm feeling. So yeah thanks so much for joining me. Um, I hope you like the idea of this this project. Um, my glues are not wanting to play ball at all today. I'm not sure. <laughs> Typically, as soon as you turn the camera on, that's it, isn't it? Okay, right, here we go. So that should just take very soon. So I'm just going to hit pause whilst I get the uh, gold leaf trim done on this one. Um, and then we'll be on to the next step. Okay, so for, um, if you remember from the one I showed in the video, I've got these little sort of tickets hiding in the vine. Okay. Um, this is, so these are Tim Holtz tickets, um, let me just show you. Um, now these are from his, uh, there's a paper pad he does, uh, I think it's either collage or etc. And it contains like, um, you know, various things that actually I fussy cut from. Um, so these are small in size, um, I'll just show you, just in case, how big they are. Um, oops, there's my measuring, here it is. Uh, they are... Mm, just over three centimeters which is about one inch and one sixteenth so they are quite small um you know they're, they're sort of like this 
um, and I'm going to cut them in half because so almost in half because then what we're going to do is uh, slip them just in amongst the leaves this is why we only glued the the top part of the leaves when we glued them down so you can just sort of slip them in um, and because they're the bottom is covered it looks like you've got a full ticket in there but actually you've only got half of it and then that way you can use for example this this would be for another one so for example I could slip this in here like so and it just makes your supplies go a lot faster when you're able to do stuff like that so what I'm gonna do is uh, this one this value band is shorter because um, it was just a test so I've got four tickets in there or four halves of tickets um, I think I can get away with more in here but all I'm going to do is just simply go through and stagger the tickets on each side so we've got you know one on this side like this almost like a ladder I suppose um, so yeah that's what we're doing <laughs> um, now in some cases, so for example here you can see that the number is the right way up. If I were to put this in like so, the number would be upside down. Um, but it doesn't really look like a ticket shape on the other side. So all I'm going to do is just corner it like so. Just because it's a little bit of a nicer uh, shape sticking out from your leaves. Now sometimes you might have to lift up your, your gold leaves to be able to put your tickets in um, but that's fine you can just glue them down again after you see like so um, actually I think this I want this one a bit higher and I was basically yeah, just just starting to, to fill in the gaps really working my way down um, you know a nice easy project but I think it looks kind of cool <laughs> and um, you know it, I think it would be a unique enough project uh, you know, I, I mean, I haven't seen this before. I mean, it might have been done. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go through and put them in, like so. <laughs> I think they look really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, it doesn't take too many supplies in the grand scheme of things. So I'll probably hit pause whilst I just work my way through these. Um, now, I haven't, haven't glued them yet, um, because actually technically these could be little tuck spots if you wanted to use uh, other things in here. Um, this one's a little bit smaller, so to pop, pop, pop it in there. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to hit pause just to, um, you know, work my way uh, through each of these, um, because all I'm doing is just tucking them in. Um, I will probably ink around each of these little tickets, um, that's just me, you don't have to do that at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hit pause whilst I do that. Um, and once we know where we're putting them, it's a case of gluing them down, so I'll be back in two secs. Okay, so once you're happy with your placement of where you're going to pop your tickets, it's just a case of us tucking them in. So I'm going to do uh, just these couple with you, um, because the process is the same. So. Uh, I'm going to have this one tucked in there. Now what I wanted to show you as well is um, I mentioned about uh, cornering the edges before. So I'm going to do that on this one. If you don't already have this type of a shape and you would like it, uh, you can also come in with a small uh, circle punch, like hole punch, and just pop in sort of this type of a shape. Can you see? Just that little groove. Um, just because I think that looks more tickety. Uh, in my opinion. Okay, so I've just inked those edges only just because because uh, I cut these from a, a paper pad you get sometimes get like a white edge. Right, I'm going to use my tacky glue, pop some glue on the ticket and I'm just going to slip it in like so and I'm just going in far enough that the bottom of it is hidden so it looks like an entire ticket is in there but actually we know between us, you and me, it's only half the ticket. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's it. Now, obviously these are glued down. Um, if you wanted to, you could find a way to use these as actual tucks. Um, when I was doing my prototype, I did lift the, uh, the belly band upside down to see if the tickets would fall out and they didn't. Um, my only thing is I sort of thought maybe I was best, um, 
gluing them down just in case but you know if this is going to be a journal for you and you've always got your eye on it kind of a thing then you could probably find a way to use these as a little tux equally uh, if you don't have any of these uh, types of tickets um, so as I mentioned these are from the uh, one of the Tim Holtz paper pads um, you could use other things um, I'm sure there's lots of little sorry lots of little ephemera pieces you've probably got in your stash that would look fun just sort of tucked in there um, another idea I had was um, if you do happen to have any like vintage tickets uh, I went through and just cut up uh, a couple of tickets just to give little pieces of ticket which would be you know again a lot will go a long way so there are options and um, I'm hoping this will <laughs> inspiring some ideas for yourselves so the next thing that I want to do is I want to do some gold splattering with some paint um, which is what I did on this one um, I'm not sure how well you can see it but basically the way that I saw that is almost like it's like a magical sort of fairy dust type splattering um, now I'm not a splattering expert I am simply using some gold acrylic paint so I'm going to use this just to not get the uh, paint everywhere so I'll be back in two secs I just need to get my paintbrush okay so I'm just gonna get some as I say this is gold acrylic paint as I say I'm not a splattering expert Um, I just it works for me so I'm going with it and I'm just going to flick the paint and yes I'm gonna get it on the book uh, but this is just my glue book so it's no big deal and uh, yeah you basically just get these little these little droplets of gold ideally on your belly band and not just on the book <laughs> but as I say you know there's lots of mixed media artists that are very good at paint splattering I'm very very new to the idea um, but I've been doing it a few times with my uh, green fairy journal and um, just because I do think it looks quite uh, quite magical just adds a little bit of extra interest as well and I'm okay that I'm getting them on the tickets, I don't mind. Uh, but of course you could do this before putting your tickets in if you prefer. Okay, so that's one done. As I said, I don't want a huge amount, but just little bits here and there. So I'll we'll get the second one done as well. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, as I said in the intro, uh, I might add a fairy to the bottom of of one of these uh, but I'm gonna wait until I uh, use it because I don't know I do know where it's going but I haven't built the the insert yet so I want to wait I want to wait until I know what's going behind it and then I'll decide whether I want to add that fairy at the bottom um, but basically I just wanted to give you give you a few ideas you know because um, that's what we're in this business for <laughs> is uh, sharing ideas and hopefully they've sparked some interest or you know stuff that you could do um maybe you you know something you've not thought about um i just thought this would look really fun and as i said i already had the leaves that needed something doing with them so i thought well um i'm also going to be making a writing board with some of the leaves that i've got as well now if you do end up with a, a little bit of a heavier droplet from the paint than you want then I just come in with a wipe or a tissue sorry about the wrestling um, and I just simply dab and I don't mind sort of I don't mind the bigger droplets but um, if they're a bit too big then I just dab them slightly and then it sort of blends them in a bit better really but as I say not an expert <laughs> I'm just simply going with what I think is what we want to do and I think we're good with this one um, so as I say I need to uh, let them dry a bit but yeah that'll do I think um, so let me just clean up and then I'll show you the effects afterwards okay so as I say they need to they still need to dry but can you see that splattering just gives it a little bit of an interest really um, I think it looks kind of cool and I'm calling these enchanted leaf belly bands so um, you know for my sort of uh, my projects I think they work quite well 
Um, so as I mentioned, I'll just remind you in case, well, we've both forgotten. My thoughts were there's potential that you could add, you know, a fairy to the bottom. Just bear in mind that if you do do something like this, uh, you would take away from part of the belly band uh, size. So you wouldn't be able to slip something quite as tall behind. So um, again, for want of a better thing to demonstrate with. Oops, oh, <laughs> I just knocked my fairy. Um, yeah, as I say, this is just for ideas, whether you want to, to go with this or not. Um, so uh, if I was gonna do this, I would glue this section of the belly band and I would glue this section of the belly band onto the page. But then because this is so tall, you know, this is the length of the page, you still would get a good few inches of belly band, you see? And as you can see, the leaves, although they get in the way a little bit, not excessively so, I don't think, you know, you can still slip your bits and bobs under there. Um, so, you know, it, it's not the most practical idea maybe, um, but I think they're absolutely fun. And I think there's lots of ways that you could change this up to suit you. So. There we are, my enchanted leaf belly bands. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm gonna have them on the back of a junk journal insert. So, you know, I've done them to fit the size of my page. As I mentioned, I started with, um, did I say eight inches high? Um, because once you add the leaves, it does overlap slightly. So as you can see, it's gonna be a really fun decorative element on the page. And uh, we're going to have possibly a fairy um so i just yeah i just want to show you really what it would potentially be like obviously I have the, the 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 backing page obviously needs decorating but yeah what do you think is it a, is it is it a good idea is it a uh a, a extraordinary idea is it a idea where you think mm, maybe not <laughs> I sort of, I, th I think it's so fun and I just had to, to show you because I thought they were, they were really fun. So um, what I was going to say as well is uh, if you find that some of your leaves are starting to kick up a bit, so for example this one, um, just come in with a bit of glue after you're finished because um, you know at the end of the day it needs to be a usable, workable piece. So if you are worried about anything that's just kicking up more than you would want, then just come in with a bit of extra glue in. Um, the only reason I say to do that after is because obviously we're, because we're tucking the tickets into the leaves we just wanted to have a little bit of glue on each leaf so yeah that was just something i wanted to say as well if you see anything kicking up that you're not a fan of just go in with a bit of extra glue in but for the most part really easy project and i think they look so fun and unique i don't think i have seen this before um i'm sure there's variations of it but uh yeah i hope you like the idea um let me know if you'll give it a go. <laughs> As always then, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you've seen something that you like and uh, I will see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.